You know it. Train relentlessly. What does the term relentlessly mean? I feel like some of you guys hear the term train. You're like, oh man, I watched a couple YouTube videos. Listen, there's a difference between training and really training. Look, I'm gonna explain this to you, okay? Kobe Bryant, we're gonna take Kobe Bryant, okay? Bless his heart, most amazing man in the world. Mamba mentality, amazing. 11 years old, 11 years old, doesn't score one basket in his league that summer. Didn't score one basket. He was the worst player in the league. Guess what happened? Talked to his dad. His dad Dad said, son, we're going to out-train him. It's real simple. Most people at your age that are training, that are playing basketball, they're playing for two hours a day, twice a week. That's four hours. Listen, Kobe, we're going to train for two hours a day, and we're going to do it six days a week. Then they went to three hours a day, seven days a week. By the time he was 14 years old, he was labeled the number one player in the state. I want you to think about it. From 11 to 14, he went from not being able to make a basket to being the number one in the country. Imagine this, the number one in the state, the number one against everybody who played at, at 14 years old. As an adult right now, I want you to think about it. You got your family, your future, kids, wife, husband. I'm not sure what it is that is driving you to want to be great. Not go just get a job, but literally change your entire life, okay? You have to train relentlessly. I want you to write this down. Your obsession, your obsession, write it down. My obsession towards training or my lack of obsession towards training is how I feel about winning. Listen, I want you to write that down. My obsession or my lack of obsession that I have towards training is how I feel about winning. I am totally and completely obsessed with training and I've been obsessed my entire life. And if you would like a great mentor to show you how to get what you want in life, be relentless about training. They're weak. They don't believe in themselves. Since they don't believe in themselves, the clients don't believe in them. They literally don't know how to sell value. Write that down. Explaining value is one of the greatest skills you'll ever learn as a sales pro. Do you know, by the way, listen, do you know how to speak? Can I ask you a question? Do you think tonality is 70% of speaking? Or do you think the word tracks you use are 70%? It's not the word tracks. You can mess up on the words. It's the tonality that matters the most. A lot of amateurs learn a word track, but because they don't know how to use tonality, they don't know how to use body language, they don't know how to use posture, they don't know how to use their eyes and eye contact. They literally don't know how to speak. So the words don't even matter. People won't always remember what you said, but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. When you're saying something right, and you can say it right with tonality, you can move the client in the direction you want. That's called going pro. And the pros close their own deals. I wanna to talk to you about new language in other industries. This is how I became great at sales. Obviously, I train in every sector of sales across the world, but I'm gonna tell you why I got interested in learning other industries was because it made me great at the niche that I was in. Everybody always says, practice, repetition is the mother of skill. See, when I trained and I practiced and I was speaking, I didn't practice until I got it right. I practiced until I couldn't get it wrong. Write this down. Don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't, underline can't, get it wrong. So what I want you to understand is this. We're gonna make your words flow like water. Literally, when you speak, do you wanna be different? I'm gonna ask you a question. What niche are you in? What industry are you in? Are other people like you out there? Do you wanna be different? Do you wanna stand out? When you talk to somebody, do you wanna have new language? So when you're talking to somebody about your industry or your niche or what your product does, do you wanna sound like the last guy that they just spoke to and you're literally repeating just what they said, almost identical so you sound like a parrot? They're hearing the same thing twice. It's not making them want to do anything different. In order to make somebody to want to do something different than they want, didn't want to do, didn't want to do with someone else, you're going to have to be different. How are you going to be different? By new language. So one of the ways that I became great at speaking, talking, closing, different strategies, mindset, like articulating my words, moving a client, was that I studied other industries. I only got rejected when I wasn't as good as I needed to be.
That's why we're going to train, brother. Where everybody wants to save money. Everybody wants to be inflation proof. Everybody wants what we have, but we're not good enough at delivering it yet, which is why we're going to train. And once you can get that mouthpiece moving, and once you can learn how to how to be the greatest at delivering it and how to, how to present, everybody's going to say yes, and the paycheck goes bam. Every time somebody shows me something, I become dangerous. Listen to me, I'm stupid, I'm not that smart. I was raised a loser, but I'm not a loser anymore. I've learned that the only way to wealth is through self-education. I'm a sponge. I learn from broke people, I learn from losers, I learn from winners, I watch everybody. I learn from Navy SEALs, I learn from people that lost everything and then they gain it again. I watch from people who lose everything and never get it back. I watch for people who try their whole life and try to get something, but never seem to get it.